Hello all my goblin farmers, this is Barnacle back again, and we are going to be looking at a series of mods that I enjoy playing with on pretty much every game. And these will be PC mods in this list, and I'll have a separate list for my console favorites. Some of them will be joint, you know, crossplay, and some will be PC only with the scripts, obviously. So this is the first one of the series and this is the lizard 6mt 9mt plow by um black sheep modding let's look at it in the store uh, all right so we're gonna go to plows where's plows plows and it should be at the end it's the lizard 6mt 9mt uh subsoiler technically but it's my favorite plow because it's square or whatever it goes straight instead of having to flip over like the other ones so this is it right here you can choose between 6mt or 9mt you can change your color oops change your color to all the colors you can want for a plow and the design color changes the tines so if we wanted white tines, we could do that. And I always go with the 9MT because I like the bigger one. Um, or you can go with either one. So the 9MT with uh, the color change on the tines, we can switch that back. So we just have a uh, regular color. I think it was jet black. Yeah. So 9MT is 19,000. The 6MT is 17,000 to purchase. So yeah. That's what I like about it. And does it have a, it has a 320 horsepower requirement. And it's, this one obviously is a nine meter width. So let's look at it in a field. And I have with me right now, the McCormick uh, X7624. So let's look at that real quick. Oops, in the garage, uh, this one. And medium tractors. The McCormick X7624 is currently a 240 horsepower uh, tractor. And then I also have with us the M6 uh, Kubota, which is only a 140 horsepower tractor. So yeah, let's go back here. Did it say uh, speed 10 miles an hour? Okay. So it says it's 10 mile an hour max with plow or max uh, speed. So this Kubota or this uh, McCormick, which is only 240 horsepower can pull this perfectly fine at its max speed. So we'll line this up real quick, unfold it. Um, unfolding is, uh, B. Oh, that's lower unfold. Oh, I got to raise it up first. Sorry. I got to unfold it first. Then I got to lower it. And then also because I need to make a field here, we, uh, have to set up the uh make field by doing y that should allow me to make fields and lower it. and do y again oh okay apparently lower it there we go so um if i put on cruise control Oh, let me bring the HUD back up. Oh, let me stop. All right. Why will it not? Let me bring the HUD back up. Okay. That's ridiculous. But whatever. Uh, HUD visibility on. Okay. So let me lower this again. And set the cruise control. And you'll see that this will drive at the max 10 miles per hour, right? No issues. Now, 
Well, let's just take it to the end. As the, as the train goes by. And we'll switch it around. And we'll get the other tractor. And we'll see how this baby can go with uh, 140 horsepower or whatever it was. Oh, apparently I got a big hole there. I got to fix. Line this one up. Lower it down. And set the cruise control and see what we get five six so we are only getting six horsepower interesting right that makes sense so the other one which wasn't actually at 320 horsepower 240 and 260 whatever couldn't uh wasn't at the required horsepower but was still able to do it but now if we take this lower horsepower tractor and we turn it around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost ran into it there. Turn it around. Put it on the front. Spin around. I need might need some weight. Typically have some weight on your tractor for this probably, but we'll turn it around. And we'll push the plow so the tines are going in reverse, right? Lower it down, set the cruise control, and see what kind of speed we get now. Oh, not making fields for some reason. Oh, because I disconnected it. So, cruise control, go. Cruise control. There we go. So now we're at six, seven. Well, I guess we're still not getting the max 10. So, we're getting one extra horsepower out of it. So, I guess if you have a less horsepower um, tractor, you could try running it in reverse and see what you get. But anyway, that's my short review of the Lizard Subsoiler 6MT 9MT by Black Sheep Monty. See you next time.